Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts, and I want to show you how to edit a video party invitation using Canva. To start, you're going to want to go to my blog and sign up with your email to receive my free Canva video party template. Once you do that, you'll receive a PDF with a link that will take you to this screen. Make sure you're signed into Canva and you will see this screen that says a template created by me was shared with you. Once you get here, you'll click the purple use template button. This will open up a new canvas in your Canva account that contains the template that I have already created to make a really fun video invitation for your next party. Now I am using standard Canva to edit this template, but if you're using Canva Pro, if you have a Canva Pro account, you'll have more options as far as animations, fonts, etc. The first thing you're going to want to do is change the title of this canvas. It will automatically populate with copy of Canva video party invitation, but save it to however you want the file to be named when you download it to your computer. So I'm just going to put all right, so when you take a look at this canvas, you will see that there are several different slides. Once you download this as an MP4 video, those slides will smoothly transition into one consistent video, but we have them on different slides so you can change the information individually. The background of this video is this glittery background. All right, so you can see this is what the background of the video will look like. You can change that if you want to, or you can just leave it as I have created the template. If you want to change it, you'll need to go to Elements and then go down to Video. And you can change it to any one of these free videos that are available in Canva. All you'll need to do is drag and drop. I'm going to keep it how I designed it, but like I said, you can change it however you would like. So for the first screen, each of these text boxes are completely customizable. So if it is Michael's birthday, you can change out that information and make the font a little bit smaller so that it fits. Maybe it's Michael's graduation. And change that out as well. You can also alter the fonts by going into your font menu and you can change this to whatever font you think looks best for your party. Again, I'm going to leave it how I designed it. For this word, I have chosen to use some text effects on this word. So you go here to the effects button and that will give you some different styles that you can place on the text within your video. I'm using the splice option. You can choose to shadow it. You can make it look like a neon sign, like it's glowing. You can put a glitch effect on it. All of these are really cool options. And you can play around with that from the effects menu. I'm actually going to go back to how I had it originally. There we go. So that is the first slide's information, and you can change that however you would like. Let's take a look at the animation of the page. I am on page one right now, and if you look over in the top left corner, you can see that I have chosen to use the party animation. If I click on that button, you can see that there are tons of other page animations that you can choose from. This is the version that I've selected for the template, but you can change it to something else if you would like it. Right now I have the party animation set to animate both on the enter and on the exit. So as it transitions to the next slide, you'll get animation as well. You can change it to be only on the enter or only on the exit. So there are a lot of different options that you can use for animating the individual elements on your page. One thing I will suggest is if you are going to change the animation style on your video, I suggest that you click on this purple apply to all pages button. That will make sure that every slide, every page in the video 
uses the same animations. This can give your video a more consistent professional look. So once you have changed the information on your first slide, you can go down and see that every single slide, every single page has a different design that is completely customizable. Change the fonts, change the colors, change the information to suit your party. On this slide, you can add your party's information as far as date and time and location. And then the final slide has RSVP information. So you can tell them when they need to respond to you and then give your phone number or an email or something so that your guests can RSVP for your super cool party. Let's take a look at what this video looks like now that we've adjusted it to suit our party. I recommend that you preview your video before you download it to make sure it looks exactly how you want. You do that by clicking this button here just to the left of the share button in the top right hand corner of your screen. This will give you a preview of your video. It may be a little bit glitchy. Once you download it, those glitches will work themselves out. But this gives you an idea of how all the animations will work and how one slide transitions into the next. Once you're happy with the way your video looks and you have all the pertinent information entered into the slides, it's time to download. So you'll click the white share button in the top right hand corner, click on download, and make sure you are downloading this file as an MP4 video. If you're on Canva Pro, you can adjust the quality of the video, but honestly, 1080p is plenty good quality if you're going to be texting or emailing this video to your guests. Before you download, make sure you have selected all pages to make sure you're not missing any part of your video and then click download. And this will save this video file to your device. From there, you can text, email, or otherwise share the video with your guests and they will be so impressed with your really cool video party invitation.